Hi, this is Dave, Fellow Running Guide. Welcome to this week's navigation task. We're in the Peak District this week for our task. Um, and this week we've got two photographs taken of looking in roughly the same direction, but from different locations. So what I want you to do is, one, see if you can work out what we're actually looking at and identify the feature that's circled in red. And also see if you can work out where the photos were taken from. So this is the first photograph and there's the second photograph. So let's look at this one in a little bit of detail to start with. Uh, we'll go on to the map in a, in a moment. So what are we looking at? So it's obvious that we're looking downhill um, to quite a significant valley and there are quite a few features on that. So immediately ahead of us and just to our right then it looks like there's a steep probably a stream in the bottom of there and we're looking down um, sort of gently sloping ridge that then drops away out of sight here uh, and then going up the other side we've got this obvious stream that leads up onto this high ground here um, and we've got another indented feature here a drainage feature coming down there so it's down and round up and we've got this sort of ridge that then flattens off there in terms of the man-made features we've got a very obvious path or track coming down here a very noticeable scar on the landscape coming down and it's coming down to probably into the the foot of this ridge that's ahead of us dropping out of sight hidden away in the dead ground that we can't see beyond the end of this ridge um, and then there's another feature here you can see is a bit of a, a zigzag that goes up whether that's a wall or a, a a path it's unclear at the moment and then to the left of that we've got another obvious stream feature coming down off the landscape there so that is that on there we're looking for that red circled area and to the left of that we've got this high flattened summit there so let's have a look at the other photograph so there is that red circle we're looking for and there to the left of it is that flattened summit from a slightly different angle so we're further to the right now than we were before we're looking down onto that track that's leading up and then remember the streams from before so there's, so there's one stream leading up here beyond this ridge coming up here and then there's an obvious stream on this side of it coming up here up 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 and then this is that ridge that was coming up and flattening off before rising again up there so those are the features that we can see what about looking on the map so in both of those cases we were looking steeply downhill to a valley bottom and then rose up the other side with that distinctive track man-made track going up it I don't always like looking for man-made features but when there's something as obvious and probably permanent as that then um, there's a very good chance that it's going to show up on the map so where can we be well if we look for the um, that main track we've got this path coming along here with the diamonds on it diamonds are um, established paths so in this case it's Pennine Way so we're looking at the Ordnance Survey 1 to 25,000 um, and these these diamond shapes would show a, a recognised path so it, you know something like the Pennine Way or Coast to Coast um, in this case Pennine Way so we're looking down onto the Pennine Way um, and we've got these obvious streams here leading up the hillside Quite a few streams probably more than we actually saw on the photographs um, so 
it probably tells us that we're, we're somewhere on this area looking down because that path was away to our left um, and then up beyond the path we've got this higher ground up here 541 height and along and then even higher off in the distance so can we actually make a bit of sense of what we're looking at so let's have a look let's have a look at this photo to start with um, it might be easy to work it out from this one because on here look we're looking straight across and see this stream here we're looking more or less straight up it and this path as well the higher reaches of that path there we're looking parallel to it and this section here just before it meets this zigzag we're looking straight at that so that might help us let's have a look on the map well if this is the path coming down towards there's that zigzag you see so there's that and there's the stream that is running parallel to it so we were looking up those we were looking up that stream and also up this path parallel to it so we should be able to work out from that roughly not exactly but roughly where we are so if we think about that if we if that was parallel to us let me just put some arrows on the map here so parallel to that and parallel to that that gives us a rough idea of where we are because we're on high ground looking down and then there that ridge that we can see there that flattening ridge let me just put a, a little circle on it for us so that flattening ridge there now that is your ridge and those arrows are the arrows that I've drawn on from the map so looking straight along that stream and straight along the upper part of that track so we're pretty much somewhere along those lines so we're looking downhill aren't we so we can't be on this section because that's dropping downhill to the east we're looking downhill to the west so good chance that we're on this area here so if we're on this area here we should have this steep stream draining down immediately ahead of us and there we have it down there so that points out where we are on this photograph so we are the photo was taken from there looking up that stream up 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 the other side and then you see this oval contour here swines back so that is the the prominent hill on the far horizon that one there so that's the first the first photograph what we're looking at what about the other photo well now that we know what this track is and we know that that is that swine's back and we know that this is this flattened ridge that we looked at before then we should be able to work out where this one was taken we're a bit further to the right now if you look at it if we were to go in a straight line to swine's back we would actually go across the flattening at the head at the top of this ridge so this ridge is coming up 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 and then flattening here and swine's back and that flattening are in a straight line with us so if we're to draw a line again or an arrow we know that that is swine's back we know that this is that ridge with the flattening at the top so if we draw a line along there we're roughly 
along there we can't be on this bit here because again that's dropping down we're looking downhill so we've got to be somewhere from the point of the arrow along there something like that so if we reverse the arrow then we get just going through this where it starts to rise again at the top of that over to swine's back now what about there should be a stream immediately ahead of us if that's the case so can we see that oh yeah if you look closely you can just see here that there's a stream coming up and then out of sight here so that's where we are on that photograph so what about this feature circle here it looks like it's a, a rocky um, prominence and we know it's to the right of swine's back and it looks like it's above this ridge that we've been using to um, navigate by it looks like it's up at the top of there somewhere so can we see it on the map well if we come to the right of swine's back as we look so that'd be going northwards what can we see we've got some rocks there it says edel rocks we've got some rocks here around kinder low so could it be those let's have a look well kinder low there's a stream that drains down from kinder low down towards that the flattening of that ridge there so if it's kinder low there should be a stream going directly to it so there is that first stream that's going up just towards the right of swine's back the other stream is harder to see again it's around the back of this ridge but we can just about make it out going up 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 there and then out of sight to the right so that there is a stream that's leading up to kinder low so this feature is between that stream there and this stream here so that can't be kinder low no one stream there it's actually a double stream and there's the other one that goes to kinder low note it's harder to see because the contours aren't indented very much so that means it's not very steep sided and our red circle feature is in between these two streams so that makes it much more likely to be Edale rocks so those are your answers it is actually Edale rocks and those are the locations of the photographs and those arrows show how we actually worked it out so hope you got that right hope you learned something as ever thanks for watching Look out for next week's navigation task. Bye for now.